$113.38, 29 items later. I was in there for like 45 minutes and it's such a nice day out. Like you can't help but feel good. Um, so before I jump into this haul, which we're gonna go through together, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, that makes me feel very happy every time you do that. I'm gonna jump into this. There are a couple new items I'm excited to look at. And then also, if you're interested in what I'm wearing, we're now linking that in the description. So go check that out if you have any questions. Um, yeah, so let's jump into this. $113.38. I had a very nice time wandering around Trader Joe's today. Um, yeah, it was just like, there's something about the air outside right now. It's like beautiful. Well, I'm in California. I know other places are under snow, but it's so beautiful. There's sunshine, nice cool breeze. So anyways, I bought two big bags at Trader Joe's, which I'm going to go through. Um, there are some new items I'm very excited about. There are some items that are, are not as exciting, but like kale. Like I love kale. Um, and I'm gonna massage it with, I'm gonna give it like a deep tissue kale massage. And I'm gonna put some of the, this cashew butter on it. I'm gonna give it a deep tissue kale massage. I'm gonna add some spicy cashew butter dressing. That's, that's always a good move. Um, I also consider sweet potato chips a really good move. Um, I did get these over the weekend and went through an entire bag. I go through about a bag of these a week. Um, I find they're perfectly crunchy, just salty, not over the top. They don't screw up the top of your mouth. You know like how people get the roof of their mouth all from a chip? This doesn't do it. This chip just keeps on chipping and it's very addicting. Like I can, this bag will be gone in a day and a half. Just, just saying. So good. These are one of my faves of all time. Um, I picked up these cauliflower crisp crackers. I forgot how much I like crackering. Um, I was crackering this weekend with some cheese and it was like, I need to get back into it. I've been chipping for a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold in a little bit of crackers moving forward. Everyone needs more crackers. Um, oh, these are good. Um, so these are the crispy peanut butter filled milk chocolate peanuts. See, I've opened this bag just to say action. Action. Um, speaking of action, the guy who does all my um, filming and editing, he's gonna come try these because I can't eat peanuts, but he can. So Sam, can you, can you come here and try one of these peanut things? Sure. We've got a very high production thing going on here. Hey this everyone. Sam. How's it going? Sam <laughs> coincidentally got his hair did today, so he's gonna <laughs> give one of these a. Uh, First of all, do you like peanuts? I love peanuts. Do you like chocolate? I love chocolate. Is this milk chocolate or dark chocolate? It is milk chocolate, which is okay. to me a travesty, but... I like milk chocolate. Okay. But well. I can appreciate a good dark chocolate, too. Okay. Oh, that's bomb. That's... Okay, so what... That's really good. It reminds me of... You know the... The dark chocolate... Like Reese's? Yes. They're like that, but a little more sweet because of the milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. And it's not a peanut inside. It looks like it's actually peanut butter. Yeah. yeah but it's like sweet peanut butter. But it's chunky. It's chunky. Because I can feel, or, you know, there's like the creamy or the chunky. Yeah. So I can kind of taste the texture of the, like it's, there's a little crunch to it. All right. Kind of like a peanut. Oh, but <laughs> some might say there's a peanut in it. Good stuff. Okay. Really good. All right. Highly so you're a fan. It. Oh, it looks like there's, can you, that, maybe that's a crispy rice. Oh. You know what? It's probably the crispy rice. All right. Can well, I take those home? Yeah, you're gonna take those home. Yeah, I'll take them right now. I feed Sam with food. That's true. <laughs> I feed Sam with food. I mean, I. <laughs> this is how I eat food. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks, Sam. Um, the funny thing about those is, while I was checking out, the lady said to me she thought those were dog treats, and then she's like, "Oh, whoa, these are new!" Like, I love when the employees have no clue what's going on. Um, and then speaking of dog treats, I got organic chicken and brine, brown rice recipe sticks, pot pie. Um, I think pot pie wants one of these, so let me, let me, come here, come here you creatures. This is pot pie. Here, you want this? Is this your favorite? She gets very nervous on camera. Okay, come here boo boo, you want one too? And this is boo. He's very happy, see how he likes that? He smiled. Um, okay, so these are the organic chicken and brown rice sticks. Um, literally, the ingredients look like a human could eat them. I'm not going to do it, but I have seen people on TikTok and on every other platform trying the dog treats. So I'm not going to do that, but you guys can go find those people. Um, I picked up some lemons. I like to do half squeeze water in my half squeeze lemon in a glass of water first thing in the morning. 
hydrates me. Uh, lemon is acidic, but when it hits your body, it creates a pH balance that's good for you. Um, so those are my lemons. Always gotta stock up on those lemons. Um, I picked up a new olive oil, California extra virgin olive oil. Um, has a little tree on it. It looks good. This will be like for a drizzle on my toast. I like to make avocado toast a little bit. Right now, this is like a right now thing because my avocado toast game is always changing. But I'll do avocado toast with a little bit of feta, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil drizzle on top, and then some basil. And I want to show you my basil tree because this is this is good. <laughs> something, something peculiar is going on here. So I don't know why it's doing this. But it appears as though all, one stem is really taking over, and I don't know where it's growing. It seems to be growing up. Um, so if anyone has any tips on basil, I don't know what's going on. But what I, what I have found is like when the leaves do dry out, um, I will use the dried basil on the toast, and it's so good. This is just ridiculous, and shows my green thumb. Okay, what else we get? Um, I picked up a box of Go Macro Bars. I like these. I take them when I travel. They're just good to have on hand. Uh, the Amped Up Almonds, these are like my my little like sweet tooth satisfier bites. Um, I actually dump them out into like a little old like plastic ice cream container and then I keep them in my pantry and then I like it's a screw top so I have to become aware of when I'm going in you know it's not as easy as just like picking into a bag like I literally have to take a screw top off and I find that helps govern my chocolate intake throughout the day. Just a tip, you guys want to know how the pros do it. That's it. Um, I picked up two avocados. One's a little bit more ripe than the other. These are going to be used for the toast that I just mentioned with my beautiful basil plant. Bag one down. Bag two commence. Okay. Um, I so the last like month I was using Sakara. I was trying like a meal delivery thing just to see like how do I like it. Where did I find it fit into my life the most? Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the breakfast, but I did like having a lunch and dinner on demand, so I think I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to try a couple different ones, but I think I like having like three days a week lunch and dinner prepared. Um, it's nice because I find that I don't get hangry. It still gives me time to go out to dinner and or I could cook for myself. So um, anyways, that being said, I'm in like a period of not having a delivery. So I picked up some, uh, some salads from Trader Joe's and one of them is a super spinach salad. This one's really good. I've had it before. It's got spinach, quinoa, garbanzo beans, dried cranberries, the dressing's super good. It has pumpkin seeds, and it's this is just a really good salad. Um, I used to get this all the time back in the day, so happy to have that. I also picked up some lentils to add to my salads. It gives it a little bit of protein, and these things are so good. Like you, you can, I have a friend that literally carries, a, like I have friends, all, all different types of friends, but one of them carries like, we'll go on like, there's like a parade this is like pre-covid days and she's like walking and i'm like what are you eating and she's like squeezing lentils out of a bag and she's like lentils and i'm like okay and she's like you want some i was like well not today not in the mood but anyways these lentils are so good they're pre-cooked you don't you can eat them cold hot they're the perfect amount of salty pack full of protein get your lentils oh for my kale salad that i mentioned i picked up some pomegranate seeds so i'm gonna put the spicy cashew dressing on it with um, pomegranate seeds and some cashews, potentially some Parmesan cheese. That's not a joke. I definitely want to put Parmesan cheese on it because I put Parmesan cheese on everything. Um, and okay, I don't know if this is new, but it might be. This is the gluten free Nisua pasta salad with yellowfin, tuna, cherry tomatoes, red potatoes, green beans, and black olives. I don't, because I don't know if this is new or not, but I, I, I don't think it is. I just haven't seen it. Maybe it's always sold out. So. Look at the inside. It just looks delicious. It's like an easy, easy meal. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of this for lunch today. Um, and then I picked up the Niswa salad. So I doubled down on Niswa. I think I'm saying that right, only because my sister took French for like a year and I remembered some words. Um, yeah, but I have had this before. It's good. I just don't eat the egg because I'm a... Eggs don't like me. I like eggs. They just don't like me. Um... I also picked up vegetable pad thai. This is the one that goes in the frozen department. Um, it'll be an easy meal to make, 360 calories. The ingredients look all, all look pretty clean. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. I haven't tried it before. I'll probably end up putting heaping amounts of bomba on it because I like spice so much. Um, I 
also picked up some unexpected cheddar cheese because if you saw my haul last week, I totally forgot to get cheese for my quesadilla and I've been living with that um, mistake all week. So now I have unexpected cheddar cheese. Make a quesadilla with this, it is so good. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. And then I picked up some oat beverage because this is how I froth in the morning um, with oat milk. Um, this one I find froth the best, but I will be doing a froth off soon. Um, there's some froth, there's some heavy frothing coming towards you guys. You guys don't know what's about to hit you, but I'm about to froth every beverage at Trader Joe's to see which one froths the most. Um, but this one so far out of the few that I've tried, froths the best. That's done. And then we're gonna get into the we're gonna get into the the green thumb segment. This was a a new eucalyptus that I saw at Trader Joe's. Um, the leaves are like long and skinny, but it smelled really good, so I picked it up. And then I thought, you know, we're hanging this in our showers. What if I hung it in, on my rearview mirror in my car? Because I want my car to smell like eucalyptus. Like, I think it would work. So, I'm. I think I'm gonna try it. Not like the whole thing, right? Just like a like a couple. I might. That might be a little hippie, but um, oh well. Uh, okay, and another thing why I have all these flowers is I have some flowers in vases, vases, all the way over in the corner, and they have lasted, these these type of flowers, which I'll go through, last like weeks, weeks, they don't die. And then I like that because then you save money and you get the prettiness. So these are Mum's Big Bunch. Um, I actually don't think I've tried Mum's Big Bunch before or else I would have remembered that, but these are Mum's Big Bunch. Uh, this is... Stocks 10, I, I feel like I've tried these ones before. These do die a little bit faster. It's just called Stock 10 Stem, $3.99. But they're very pretty, look at that purple, okay. Um, these things, these are chamomile, they last forever, forever. So if you buy these, just, they're gonna be there for three weeks, as long as you change out the water. Look how pretty they are, little chamomile. I wonder if that's where chamomile tea comes from. Okay, and then these are another Mom's Big Bunch. So pretty, so I'm gonna like mix and match, put those all together. Um, but yeah, that's it. My stomach is starting to growl. Um, I think it's because I I opened, what did I not try? I wanted to try something. Oh, I wanted to try this, but I need to mix it all together. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll mix it all together and then take a picture and do it like a post on Instagram. But that's it. Thank you guys for checking this out. Um, let me know what your favorite thing is in this haul. My favorite thing is going to be, hmm. Um, this is hard because I like a couple things. Um, mm, I'm gonna go the lentils. These things I've loved for, for like OG for like 10 years, so lentils favorite. You guys let me know what your favorite thing is. Um, Alright, I'll see you next week. Bye.